Hello, uh, good day everyone. Well, welcome to uh, Marina's Powerhouse Team Review and Training Center. Uh, I'm here to discuss uh, Direct Current Circuits Part 17. We have the dependent sources. So my name is Engineer Reggie Marinay. So just uh, call me Kuya Reg no? for short. So welcome to uh, Marina's Powerhouse Team Review and Training Center. Okay, so uh, first... Uh, I would like to uh, apologize to uh, maybe uh, in the near future our uh, foreign students, no? Let's say whether you are American or European students, African, Asian students will uh, get to know our YouTube channel. So, well, that is uh, my YouTube channel. So, that is Reggie Marina YouTube channel. So, <clears throat> Just in case uh, there are uh, non-Filipino students uh, will be watching our video. So, I have to apologize no, that uh, we are, we're trying our best to speak the English language. So, this is just our uh, second language. No? So, I hope uh, you will uh, appreciate. No? Even though uh, sometimes uh, we made a, a wrong grammar of the language, no? So, but uh, what's important is uh, for you to learn the electrical uh, engineering principles behind these uh, theories. Okay. Okay, partner, let's go with our topic. Okay. Our topic for today is about dependent sources, part one. Okay. So, it is here where you see the uh, diamond shape, no? The diamond shape. If you see a diamond shape, uh, sources that is what we call a dependent sources. Okay, if you see in, a, in an electric circuit, you have this, or shall we say, we have this plus minus. Let's say this is the 12 volts, 12 volts. So, meaning that is independent voltage source. Independent voltage source. If you see this kind of circuit, say you have here 5 ampere. So, you see an independent current source. But this time, no, we may see, again, partner, let's show them the uh, diamond shape. If you see a diamond shape source, meaning it is a dependent sources. So, there are types of uh, dependent sources. So, okay, if I may redraw. So, this positive, negative, this is our voltage source. Okay, then let's say we have a dependent current source. Okay, so we have different types of these uh, sources. Next. Okay, so it's, it's quite uh, unclear here. Okay, so we have here... If you see a diamond shape, then there is a negative and a positive. It is a voltage source. But there are two types. Okay? As we see here, there are two types. No? If the circuit is like this. Okay, I'll just show this on the board. This is positive. So, let's say this is... Uh, Two sub one. Two B sub one. So this is what we call the it's controlled okay, because it's being controlled by the value B sub one. So this is voltage controlled because that is voltage. What about this one? Positive, negative. So we have three I sub. <coughs> what do we call this? This is a voltage source. Okay. That is a current con this voltage source. I sub
Okay. So, what about if we have this? We have this. Okay. Let's say we have 4 uh, B. All this. The voltage controlled current source. B sub 2. The a part of a network. Okay? In any part of the network designated. No? Part of any network. You may find B sub 2. What about this? So what do you call this? This is care. Where you can find also on a particular circuit where your Okay? So go over with our sample problems. Let us go over with What is the voltage of the dependent voltage source? So, I will uh, redraw the circuit for number 1. Okay. So, drawing muna natin. So, we have here an independent voltage source. Well, actually, we can replace that as this one. Then, we have a resistor. Then, we have a diamond shape. So we have here uh, negative positive. This is a six volts source. Then we have a two ohm. Then we have the negative and we have four i. The four i meaning that is a current dependent voltage source. Well, the V here is just uh, a unit of voltage, V. The V here. It's just simply volts. Okay. We have here our 4. Okay. So, where is our I? So, our I, of course, there's only... See? We can solve this. Here's just voltage. The circuit tracing lives on the positive terminal of the 6 volts. Here, please close up this portion. Okay. So, we have here the circuit tracing. It lives on the positive terminal. That's why it is a positive. What about here, guys? What about here? The circuit tracing, it lives on the positive terminal of the dependent source. We have here four. One current flowing. That is there. <clears throat> okay. Take a look again. Going back, no, to our uh, videos on pure chops. You will see the uh, basic principles of KBL, KCL. We have here we are facing that is going to the right. To the right. 
to the right only one direction to I what about circuit tracing is in clockwise direction okay direction as I hear which is going downward direction one line so therefore that is minus if there are two directions two lines Uh, becomes upward, this is downward, two direction, meaning two lines. Meaning, right? That's what, huh? what I, but for this case, this is downward, this is also downward, so that is minus equal to zero. We have one, two, three, Positive 4i minus 4i, that will cancel out, guys. So, our i now will be 6. Negative 2i, negative, will become positive. Our i is 6 over 2. We have 3 amperes. Okay? That is our current. There. Times 3, that's equal to 12 volts. The answer would be letter The answer would be A 12 bots Let's go now to the next problem Okay 2 Here Okay, let's show that Okay, I will draw now the circuit. We have a one, two, three, four branch circuit. Again, we are seeing here a purely parallel circuit. So we have resistor here. So we have a uh, Dependent, that's actually a uh, current, dependent current source. Okay, this is a current dependent voltage source. No? So what about here, this is a current dependent. Example is current dependent voltage source. So now, we are seeing here a uh, current dependent current source. Okay. Then let us put a So we have here 4 ampere going upward. 4 amperes. 4 amperes going upward. We take note, there is a voltmeter here. This is the negative and this is the positive of the voltmeter. That's what this voltmeter means. This, the terminal, this is the positive, this is the negative of the voltmeter. So, we have here a 6 ohm resistor. And then, there is a current flowing here. I sub 1. So, we have here 2 I sub 1. We have 2 I sub 1. Store here, no? two ohms, then we have a current I sub 2 going upward. I sub 2. What's the question in our problem? May see. Find B. Oh, the only question is B. Well, if we are to get B, we can easily get our I1 and our I2, right? Okay, let's let's get that also. These two. Look here. One. We have here. Voltmeter is just being up, connected in parallel. Take a look here. There. Four ampere. 
What is across the six? Can we do that also? Yes, because they are just purely parallel circuits. We are going to make use of but reduce the unknown. So we have here our take a look on the sister natin. Then let us connect our voltmeter in parallel with a 6 ohm resistor. There you are. We have here a What is this current? Current flowing in the 6 ohm resistor. That is our Our I sub 1 here will be what? By PLM, powerhouse let it flow method. Let it flow here on this direction for one complete loop. It lives on the positive terminal of the voltmeter. Therefore, it is positive B. So it's just simply over 6. Okay? What do we have here? Remember that I1 here is our V. Our current source here is 2 I sub 1. Let us replace our. Applied by B over 6. B over 6. That will just become B over 3. Isn't it? This V, this may be replaced by simply V over okay, because of this equation. Let us get now our Milman's volt. This voltmeter is the Milman's voltage. Milman's voltage. So, I will put so that is equal to what now? Okay. Remember, there is a current going upward. That positive 4. 0 over 6. <clears throat> Plus 0. The voltage source here. Remember, this is a current source also. That's going upward. So therefore, it is positive. I will consider this V over 3. Now, V over That is 0 over 2. Then, let us consider <coughs> the conductances. There are two resistors only here. So, we have 1 over 6 <coughs> plus 1 over 2. So, we are now ready to solve. There's only one equation, one unknown. We can now get our V. <coughs> let's calculate this.
Okay, so the answer here, if we are to ship sold no, using our calculator, so the answer will be 12 volts. <coughs> oh, yun ang sagot natin, mga kawerpa. 12 volts. And that will be letter, what letter is this, partner? Letter D. Okay? That is our answer. <coughs> Let us get our I1 and I2, by the way. As we see here, that I1 is simply equal to V. What is uh, V over 6 now? We can solve this easily. <coughs> what is V? 12 over 6, 2 amperes. That's the answer. What about for I sub 2 here, guys? Take a look here. I will put here our voltmeter. Remember, our voltmeter, it reads 12 volts. So this is the positive, this is negative. By powerhouse let it flow method here, remember the assumed direction here is going upward. There you are. We are to solve our I sub 2. That will be equal to, uh, oh, by the way, Terminal of the voltmeter. It is negative V or negative 12. Then the resistance is so I sub 2 will be equal to negative 6. Sir, why is that the current is negative? Meaning the assumed direction that is going upward is a mistake. That is a wrong direction. So, direction here, it must be going downward, not upward. <clears throat> that is a wrong direction. This is a correct direction. Wherein, if you use the let it flow method here, okay, the I going downward, take a look here. Our I sub 2 is, it, this will live on the positive terminal of the battery, that is 12 Divided by 2, just simply 6 amperes. That will become positive, right? Kung gagawin natin pababa yung kuryente dito. Okay? Gets ba yun, mga kawire pa? No? Okay? Nakuha? Okay, sige. So, next problem, partner. So, that is uh, what letter, by the way? <clears throat> ah, we are already finished. No? We already showed the 12 volts. No? I just uh, calculate I1 and I2. Okay, so... We have uh, that. Always remember if the answer is in negative meaning, <coughs> the assumed direction is incorrect. No? It's incorrect. Then for the voltage, if you have a negative voltage, no, you have to reverse the polarity of the uh, two terminals of the voltmeter. No? Reflect properly. No? So, because... Uh, if your meter indicates uh, damage the pointer of the uh, of your uh, tester, the one I have here. If you have a negative voltage, the uh, the correct deflection is uh, going to the right. But if you have a negative voltage, the deflection will be going to the left, and that is quite dangerous in the uh, pointer that may damage. Or you have to reverse of the uh, multi-tester. No? Always remember that you uh, that's, it's only around 45 minutes video about the proper way of using. No? Yung tamang paggamit ng multi-tester. Mga kawer pa. No, pa Three. <clears throat> Actually, dependent sources is an integration of our um, different uh, network theorems or laws. No? Problem number three. Let's take a look here. 
Okay, I will redraw circuit number 3. So, we have here a 3 ampere. So, we have... Uh, Current source, we have resistor here. Current source, no? As we see, that is a diamond shape. This is the negative, this is the positive. Then there is a resistor. Then another two resistor. Okay, kakilakihan natin, partner. Okay, natin yung mga values dito. So, 3 ampere to. Then, we have uh, voltmeter, B sub 1. What's that? 8 ohms, right? 8 ohms. So, this is minus. It's a voltmeter. Then we have here, what about the dependent source? 3 V sub 1. V sub 1. So 3 V sub 1 is uh, dependent mode. Then we have 8 ohms, 8, 6, and 12. Okay. 6 and 12. Okay, that, that's the question here. B sub 1 and our, our I sub 2 is somewhere here. So, oh, ayan ha. Tapos may B sub 1 tayo. Ang hinahanap, no? B sub 1 at saka I sub 2. Okay. B sub 1 is very easy to get. Sub Hello, hello. Mic testing. Okay. Okay. So, I'm sorry for uh, for that. No? So, nawalan tayo ng sound. Okay. So, tamba ko magsisimula, partner. Okay. So, we have by inspection here. So, as we see here, V sub 1 simply equal to 3 because the current flowing in the 8 ohm resistor is only 3 ohm, 3 amperes. Then multiplied by 8 ohms, so 3 times 8, that is 24, 24 volts. That is our V sub 1. So our uh, voltage source here depends on this value, on the value of V sub 1, which is 24. So therefore, our 3 V sub 1 simply equal to 3 times 24. How much is 3 times 24? So, 3 times 4, that is uh, 12, 1, 6, 72. Okay, so that is 72 volts. But take note, this is negative, this is positive, right? Take note of that. Okay, we already have B sub 1. We don't have I sub 2. So many... Theorems, no? We can make use, no? Here. So, take a look here, guys, huh? Take a look here. So, we have here a, uh, a negative value here. No? So, 
Kinukuha lang naman yung I sub 2 natin. So, what do we have here? So, many, there are so many things. We can make use of the uh, Maxwell's Mesh method. No? We can make use of the... Uh, I think we can make use of the Milman's theorem here. Because I'm seeing here a purely parallel circuit. These three branches. Okay? This is one. Is actually in parallel with the 6 ohm, in parallel with the 12 ohm resistor, right? So they are in parallel. So I'll be introducing here the Milman's voltage P. Here. From this point, going to this point. This is positive, this is negative. Take a look here, guys. Please take a look here. <clears throat> Tingnan na, mga kawer pa. Parallel lang yan. Ito kasi, naka-series dito. The 8 ohm is in series with this uh, 72 volts. This is already 72 volt source. Okay? So, 72 na ito. But, take note. 72 volts is in a reverse polarity. This is the negative and we have a positive here. If we are to get our Milman's voltage B. Take a look here. This is negative 72 over 8 plus 0 over 6 plus 0. This is 6, huh? 0 over 1 over 8 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 12. So, we can now get, take a look here guys, negative 72 uh, over 8, okay, that will be over 1 over 8. Plus 1 over 6. Plus 1 over 12. <coughs> okay. So, our answer here would be a negative 24 volts. Again, we see here negative value. Negative 24 volts. Ano ibig sabihin niya? What does it mean? If we have a multi-tester or a voltmeter, <clears throat> take a look here. Let's say this is the volt. This is the positive. The positive is the red one. And you see, this is the color black here. The red one here is the positive, And the black one here is the negative terminal. Meaning, if you put the two test lead, <coughs> here okay then you put in the let's say 50 volts uh, 50 volts let's say DCV the deflection will be in the reverse direction the proper direction it must be going to the right because this is the 50, this is the 0 volt, and this is the 50 volts. That must be the proper direction. Negative value. Negative voltage. Okay. The deflection will be in the reverse direction. Go to the uh, left side. On a clockwise will rotate in a counterclockwise. So, there may damage. Take a look here. This is I2. This also, of course, I sub 2. It's just this carrying. Let's make use of Here is that one. One complete loop. 
by powerhouse let it flow method it lives on the negative then the resistance is over 12 equal oh 24 divided by 12 negative positive there to that will be our answer so me correct assumption for the direction of our i sub 2 so tamay assumption natin mga kawer pa no okay so therefore our answer would be letter o anong letter yan mga kawer pa okay the answer would be letter Sir, why is that letter C has no indication of negative value? Bakit wala siyang negative, sir? Value. Well, of course, if there are in the choices that says negative 24 and positive 2, that will be your final answer. But if there is no negative polarity, of course, positive, your value of the negative 24 24, no? So, it's just an indication that uh, in the reverse direction. Well, if you are using a uh, tester or multi-tester in a digital, a digital uh, tester, it will just negative. There is an indication in the digital negative. You will see the negative. Okay? So, the answer, partner, is uh, letter. What letter, partner? Ayon, left. Okay. <clears throat> last problem. For number four. Oh, punta tayo sa last problem natin. Nakakawear pa. I will... Uh, our circuit... Problem number four. Okay, I will redraw the circuit. We have two ohms, then we have here. A dependent current source. To be specific, this is a uh, voltage dependent current source. Isn't it? Okay. So, this is the uh, next. <coughs> so we have here 12 volts. There you are. Then we are seeing here a, uh, what's that? Current I. Okay. Just put here the current I here. There you are. Okay. Take note that there is a voltmeter here. There is a voltmeter here. Remember the terminal of the voltmeter here. Okay, so we have that. Now, here. So, tingin na mga kawer pa, tingnan natin to. We have here a current source, no? Find the value. 
find the values of our i and our no? i and if we are to make use of the Milman's theorem take a look here we can make use of Milman's theorem here we have node a here We can introduce our Milman's bond. Well, take a look here. Voltage. Okay. Positive. This is as negative. Milman's voltage V sub A will be equal to what? Now, for the first branch, this is the first branch. This is the first branch. That is just zero voltage source here over 2. Zero over The current here is going upward. Upward. If the current is going upward, that is a positive current. V over 4. What about here? Oh, this is easy. Over 2. 1, 2, 3 branches. One half. One up. Okay, let us simplify this further. This is just simply zero. It's just so to simplify this, we'll be having here a remember that B sub A is different from B. So B sub A. B over zero fifty six, right? Twelve. So we just have this equation. See, we have that equation. Okay, we can formulate this as this one. B sub A. Let us transpose this. So that is, this is our equation number one. Okay. That is our equation. What about for our equation? Take a look at this complete loop here. One complete. This is okay. So this is just the same. This is the positive and negative of the okay. We have here a voltmeter. We have a. Take a look here. This one. <coughs> By Kirchhoff's voltage, the circuit tracing.
by Kirchhoff's Voltage Law. O, tingin ha, mga kawer pa. Gamitan natin to ng KBL. Terminal to lumabas. Positive business. Dito naman, anong terminal lumabas dito? Negative. Ilang. Ba? Kasi, negative yun. Doon. And the negative. What about in 12 volts? It leaves on the negative. So, there as lipatize, no? You see? Lipatize, lipat. So, negative. Then, not uh, lipatize. Minus or transpose this. So, negative will become positive. Use 5-1. <clears throat> okay, let us press mode 5-1. Then we have here, this is a hash numerical coefficient of 1 equals, what about here? So, our B sub A. Four volts. Our uh, Y will be our B. That is negative A. Again, it is an incorrect polarity. Negative. Ano yung tanong natin, partner? Yung isa. I natin. Ito yung I natin. Let's make use of the powerhouse. Let it already. We have This so it's our no? B sub A negative B sub A over two. Okay. So, our I simply equal to uh, negative B sub A over 2. Simple as that. <clears throat> so, our B sub A is simply uh, 4. So, meaning negative 4, then over 2, meaning it is uh, negative 2 ampere. That's the answer. That's the answer. Okay? Again, this is a wrong assumption of the direction of I. We're in the actual direction. Instead of going to the right, this must be going to the left. No? So, mali lang naman mga kawer pa yung assumption dun sa libro. No? Sa reviewer. Okay? So, our answer is negative 8 and negative 2 ampere. So, the answer would be letter D. Okay, that's correct. No? Negative 8 volts and negative 2 amperes. Okay, well, that's it for today. No? So, thank you very much. No?
We'll see you on our next video. God bless everyone.